Let's look at some of the latest capabilities that have been added to Simulink in the area of simulation analysis and performance. Simulink includes a new library of graphical controls and displays to tune and monitor your simulations. These new blocks can be used to set up a front-end user interface that you or another team member can use when simulating and testing your model. Binding a graphical control or display to the model is as simple as opening the block and then clicking the appropriate parameter or signal that you want to tune or monitor. Then activate the dials and switches to change parameters and view simulation data within the displays. You can now view your data in the simulation data inspector as the simulation is running. Just mark the signals that you want to view and then open the simulation data inspector to view those signals. You have the option to plot your signals within subplots if you would like. You can also add data cursors to help you trace through the signals within the plots. You can also compare signals from different simulations to see how the results differ from one run to another. And in the area of performance, there is a new simulation option in Simulink called Fast Restart. With the Fast Restart option enabled, you can run consecutive simulations of your model more quickly. When running a simulation for the first time, Simulink goes through the normal update diagram procedures, such as checking that model blocks are up to date, generating code needed for simulation, and determining the block sorted order. After the first simulation is completed, you can then change any tunable parameters in your model, or load a previously saved state of the model, and then immediately start the simulation again without waiting for the update diagram process to complete again. Another way to speed up your simulations is to use the Performance Advisor. This tool analyzes your model for simulation bottlenecks and provides advice on what you can do to speed up the time it takes to build and run your model. It also provides advice on what speed up you can expect to get if you update your model in parallel with the Parallel Computing Toolbox.